So earlier today you got your summer campaign off to a great start, winning your first round of qualifying. This could be a really big few months for you. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty happy to get my first win today in the qualifying and I've got two more matches to go, so hopefully I can... I'll play another fellow Aussie in the second round of qualifying. So hopefully I can do well there. Normally for a young guy, you'd be content to sit back and relax after that, but tonight, facing probably your biggest challenge for a long time and maybe years to come. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it tonight. Actually, last night um, I couldn't really, uh, couldn't really sleep last night. All the thoughts have gone through my head. What if happens? What happens? But yeah, I mean, I got to, got to sleep eventually, woke up pretty pumped. So it was good to win this morning. So I'm looking forward to tonight. Let's backtrack a little to see how we got to this point. 2014, an incredible debut at the US Open. You took out the junior boys singles. I want to throw a couple of names your way. Andy Murray, Andy Roddick, Pat Cash, all winners of that trophy. They all went on to have incredible careers. Yep. Yeah, I mean, there's been some great names winning that uh, US Open title and um, I'm happy to have my name on that title too. So hopefully for the future, I can try and uh, compete with those guys. You're 17, how do you keep yourself grounded after an incredible tournament like that? Yeah, I mean, it was, it's tough to keep your head in because you have all these things thrown at you at once, but I mean, I'm still pretty young, so I'm still learning as I go, but I'm trying to pick up a few things from other players and try and take that into perspective. Give us a couple of your goals for the next, say, three years. How are you mapping the, the pathway forward? Um, yeah, well, I try to take uh, step by step, baby steps first, not really jump into the years ahead, but um, so far so well, and I'm going to try and try and get my ranking boosted up this year and see where it goes from there. You're going to learn from the master tonight. You're about to face him, but it's in a new challenge that neither of you have taken on. It's fast for tennis. What are you expecting? Yeah, I mean, it's a new format, so um, I've. I've played a few matches like that for the ATL in Melbourne um, before, but it's it's a pretty quick game. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So how are you going to tackle tonight? Nothing to lose. Yeah, exactly. I've got a win-win situation. I won today, so that's a good for me. And um, yeah, I've been playing some good tennis, so I'm ready to take it to him. Okay, 100 countries watching. How are the nerves? Yeah, I'm trying to think about stuff too much, but um, yeah, it's gonna. I think it's gonna hit me probably soon. <laughs>